Good afternoon. Am I audible, ma? We'll wait two more minutes for remaining students to join, and then we'll start the session.
Okay, ma'am, we'll start the session. Am I audible, ma? Yes, ma. Nalini, Seshu, are you there? Seshu. Okay, uh, Nalini, you asked me to discuss the question paper, right? We'll discuss now. Is my screen visible, ma? Yes, ma. Is my screen visible? Say issue, Unna, ma? Okay. Nalini? Yes, ma. Is my screen visible to you? Yes, ma. Ni voice as well, but I'm not. Okay, in Mure machine, output depends on what is the output? What is the answer? Mure machine, Mile machine. In Mure machine, output depends on the. Chepu Manish ready? Option C. Okay. You put Chepu Manish ready? Option C, ma'am. Option C, okay. Very good. Which of the following pair of regular expressions are not equivalent? Can anyone tell me? Ma'am, I think it's option B. Not equivalent. Very good. X plus X star into X plus is nothing but X plus. Here, if you consider this as epsilon, if you consider this as epsilon, only one one. So option B. Very good. Now, the set of all strings over... A of A comma B of length four starting with an A is represented by the regular expression starting with A and length four undali. A my tadi, this is not length four only one unte only length A. This is not starting with A. This is starting with A and length four. This is starting with A but not length four. So option C. Got it? Next, how many strings of length three are possible in the a regular expression. Any possible out there, ma? It is eight. In more emission, if input length is n, then output length is. Regular is satisfying all the properties. Regular expression denotes, one second, ma'am. Okay, ma. And now regulation denotes. 
regular expression strict superset of regular language recursive language regu uh, regular language strict subset of regular language is regular language only it's you know regular language if l is a set of over a comma b containing at least two a undal in the answer at least one a then it is not represented by the regular expression at least set of all strings over a comma b containing at least one a e expressions lo at least oka a aina undali verify and it is having one a or not yes it is also having it is also having it is also having at least set of all strings over a comma b at least One year, then it is represented by at least one year. All are having at least one year. And it can only get a should do my question. Are there my in the question? Any time I can get at least okay. I know only after that. Okay, see here, ma. Which is before you may have anything or after you may have anything. Option C. Suppose if you have a plus b whole star, then it is the correct answer. So. maybe this is option c next thing is construct epsilon and if you can you explain how can it see see ma it is a plus b whole star what it represents it is ending with a okay at least one a means before you may have anything after you may have anything nalini are you getting my point then it should be option d na ma'am before it can be anything and after it can be anything what they asked you not represented by the regular expression it is representing no they asked you not represented by the regular expression in c also there will be one a in a man for sure at least one a is there ma actually uh, if there is no restriction means c is also correct answer but what i am saying is here by seeing the options i am telling you by seeing the options before you may have anything after you may have anything if you observe all the options before it is having something after it is having something when you come to option c it is having only the before part which means it it is ending with a only okay are you are you getting my point yes ma'am uh, that's why by seeing the see only the question means uh, all are having at least one year but by seeing the options also we have to select now if you see the options uh, option c is having uh, at least one year but after that it is having it doesn't have anything which means it is ending with a Okay, next question is Sandhi, pick it up, which one? Ah, sir, at least construct epsilon and FU for the regular expression a b plus a whole star into a a a b. What what can you call this regular expression to uh, epsilon and FU, which is nothing but method of synthesis? I already explained in the class, is it not? Ma'am, can you explain this again? A B plus uh, okay you know down this uh, this is I'll explain the whiteboard okay know down the question okay ma yes ma next write the regular expression for the set having all the string containing exactly two s over input a comma b a me to the expression exactly two s so. Exactly two s means simply b star a a b star, which means it is having any number of b's but exactly two s. Okay, b star a a b star. Got it, ma? Next, which among the following is incorrect identity? What among the following is incorrect identity? What is that? Hmm. 
phi star is equals to epsilon star achinante manaki epsilon untadi epsilon star is equals to epsilon untadi r into phi is equals to phi means which is empty language empty language into this one is equals to regular language only this is option b next is which of the following is a false statements we can convert mele to more we can convert more to mele more mission has no accepting state mele mission has accepting state which is the false statement here option into the more option can we convert mele to more can we convert mele to more nalini are you there okay uh, now can we convert more to mele yes next uh, more mission has no accepting state is it true or false more mission has no accepting state both more and mele missions doesn't have any accepting state so no accepting state is true mele mission is having has accepting state this is false this is simply based on the output it is not at all bothering about accepting or rejecting it simply output based thing so option d is the right option right answer a power 2n is represented by the regular expression can anyone tell me ma it is simply a square a power 4 like that you will get what ma option d very good option d why it is option d means option b preeti uh, option b is wrong answer ma because they did not give n equals to 0 if it is n equals to 0 what you said is absolutely correct at least it has two ways after that it may have any number of ways so it is option d only preeti got it ikkada meeku zero ichunte nu annatu option b కరెక్ట్ అయ్యేది కానీ ఇక్కడ మనకి జీరో ఇవ్వలే ఎన్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు వన్ ఇచ్చారు నెక్స్ట్ డిరైవ్ ద రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఫర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఆటోమేటా ఫైన్ ఇట్ ఆటోమేటా వాట్ ఇస్ ద ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ మా జీరో ప్లస్ వన్ హోల్ స్టార్ జీరో జీరో ఇంటూ జీరో జీరో ఎస్ ఇంటూ మీన్స్ కాంకటినేషన్ ప్రెసిడెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద రెగ్యులర్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ ఇన్ డిక్రీజింగ్ ఆర్డర్ ఏంటి చెప్పండి in decreasing order first is the maximum one option a star concatenation union first priority is star next is concatenation next is plus in your class lo cheppan kuda simplify the regular expression what will you get ma simply if you simplify you will get one of the option okay next what is 17 a plus a star whole star which is equal to simply it is a a star r1 plus r2 whole star is equals to r2 star r1 star r2 star means a star whole star which is a star only next r1 star r1 star means which is again a star a star into a star it is option d idu kuda kavalante note chesukondamo nenu cheptanu a plus a star whole star inda kavara s annare same person can you please note down or is it clear nalini is it clear or preeti is it clear yes ma'am okay for this clear no need to explain in the white board again pumping lemma using prove uh, this already we discussed which is direct question uh, prove that if language l1 and l2 are regular then l1 and l1 union l2 is also regular yes the example simple ga meeru a is a regular language assume the language l1 is a and uh, assume l2 is b l union b means a plus b is regular take one state and uh, construct the dfa that is highly enough next the class of language accepted by finite automata machine b l1 and the class of language is represented by regular expression b l2 then l1 is equals to l2 both are regular languages no so l1 equals to l2 if the, both the things are accepting the same expression means both the machines are equal or both the languages are equal any doubt ma 
Nalini? No, ma'am. If you only work a question, explain it. And then I get any questions and I explain it. No problem. If you only have one, any other questions, we'll discuss. Chepam. Only one, ma'am. Only when epsilon and F here, how can we construct your ASCII? Okay, I'll share my whiteboard. What is the question they have given to you? A, B plus A whole star. A B plus A whole star. A A plus B. Is it not in the Yes, ma'am. Okay. First, A B. A B means it is a concatenation. Concatenation means how can you draw this? Simply. Epsilon and F. Yeah, kada manu kadi garu. Right. This is A B part. Now, for this, we have to do the union. Union and changes some parallel edges. Parallel edges and which is epsilon, Ikroka state edges, which is also epsilon. This is A. Okay, here ended the union. Next to the game, apply jali, whole star apply jali. Whole star apply jali and change is them. So, for this entire thing, we have to do the whole star. So, before you have to give one epsilon. After this, and both the final states will be okay, epsilon. Now, this is the final state. This is the normal state. This is epsilon. And from this to starting, you are having one epsilon transition. And starting to this, you are having one more epsilon transition. This is one part. And AA plus B. AA plus B means simply first you construct AA. And this is epsilon. And plus B. Plus B means how can you construct which are parallel edges. This is also epsilon. And this is B. Okay. Next, again, you have to concatenate. Concatenation in between the E and D. Simply, you connect epsilon. This is the only thing. Am I clear with this, Nalini? So, if you make good pinch calls in the end, concatenation means R1. Concatenation R2 means this is epsilon. This is R2. This is concatenation. What is plus? This is epsilon and this is epsilon. This R1, R2. Again, you connect this to epsilon. Are they whole star and demos to the simple ga epsilon? Whatever you want to do the loop that are here. Okay. Again, this will be repeated. Edges will be connected to epsilon only. Either this can you apply it? Are they my number? Nalini? Yes, ma'am. That's a simple thing. Any other doubts regarding question paper? Marks if I'm pending on this, then I'm on any guy. After revelation, I'll give you. Okay, any other doubts regarding the paper? Ma'am, once explain that A plus A star of old star. Okay. My expression A plus A plus A star whole star. See, generally in the identity rules, we are having R1 plus R2 whole star. R2 star concatenation R1 star. And it's the same thing if you apply here. This is R1 and this is R2. A star whole star R2 and A star. So R2 ki mali star, R1 star and A star. A star whole star is nothing but simply A star, A star into A star, which will give you A star only. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma. This is nothing but the question paper. Still any doubts? Okay, shall we move on to the regular session? What we discussed in the previous session? Ambiguity in CFG. 
ambiguity we have seen right have you seen the problems too yes i think yes ma'am next is minimization of contest free grammar which is very very important concept ok nimish mamma syllabus ok sir open chestha what we discussed unitary ambiguity we have complete okay simplification next concept is simplification of you may call it as minimization of contest free grammar minimization of the sandeep minimization of contest free grammar first i'll give you one grammar you check whether it is uh, contest free or not okay S two A A small A capital A. S two small A capital A capital A tends to be B tends to small A. Check whether it is contest free or not. Okay, ma. Uh, suppose this is the given grammar. Is it contest free or not? It is, ma. It is contest free. How can you check that? Contest free grammar means uh, the grammar is in the form of the uh, grammar is always will represent in the form of a prediction. Suppose assume the prediction is a to alpha. A belongs to uh, variables and alpha belongs to variable terminal combination, or you may have epsilon. so we'll check with the right uh, left hand side all our variables only it is combination of variables and so it is a contest free grammar then what is minimization or simplification remember ma minimization or simplification means first point we have to remove the useless symbols we have to remove the useless symbol next point we have to remove the null predictions we have to remove the null predictions remove useless symbols use uh, remove null predictions and one more point is there elimination of unit predictions okay elimination of unit predictions elimination of null predictions useless symbols and unit predictions what is useless symbol what is null prediction what is unit predictions everything will discuss okay first we will go with useless symbols first we will go with useless symbols what does it mean useless symbols assume the given thing is s tends to a a s tends to a a a tends to b and b tends to a assume this is the given grammar okay assume this is the given grammar if you have any useless symbols in the grammar we have to remove it how to identify the useless symbols how to identify the useless symbols means for example start with the starting the symbol that is s draw the parse tree which is a a from a i can derive b so i have used this prediction i have used this prediction what about this 
I did not use this prediction, right? Uh, can you reach to B at, a, at, at any point of time? One, two, three, assume these are three predictions. Can we reach to the symbol B, capital B? Can anywhere we, we are using in this uh, given grammar? No, ma'am. No, right? So the, here B is the useless symbol. Are the mind they useless symbol and tend to? Clear with this? Say, yes, sir, no, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Next, we'll see, with, uh, we'll see one more example. S tends to A A same. S tends to A A and A tends to A B or B. A tends to A tends to A B or B. What is the useless symbol here? See, start with the starting symbol. That is S. From S, I can go A. From A, if I right a b can can we get the final string because b is not there so b is a useless symbol we can use only the possible prediction to get the string is only small b so small a capital b is the useless symbol so capital b is the useless symbol got it ma'am are you following yes ma'am next one more example S tends to A A B S tends to A A B or B C or B C next A B or B C A B or B C A B or A C A B or A C Next is B, B or B. B, B or B. This is A tends to, this is B tends to. This is capital C, ma. Observe here, I'm starting with S tends to A, A, B. So in place of A, I can, I can either use A, B or I can either use A, C. Okay. Suppose if I use A, B in place of B, I can replace B. Uh, is there any possibility to replace C? No, because C does not deriving any value. So C is the useless symbol here. C is the useless symbol here. I'll give one more problem. You solve it. I won't explain. You solve and tell me what is the useless symbol here. Then I'll get to know that you understand or not. Next. Ma'am. Ah, Chirpam. In the previous question, like C is useless, ma'am, then we have to remove both A and C. Yes, both we have to remove because we cannot able to reach. No, no terminal is possible for capital C. Okay. Okay, one more example, ma. Uh, I'll read out, you know, down. S tends to. Yes, tends to. Small A, capital A, small A. Small a, capital A, small a. Next, capital A tends to S, B, B, C, C, D, A, A. S, B. S, B. D A A. D A A. Next B tends to no, B C tends to A B B D D. A B B C tends to B is not there. A B B or capital D D. Next D tends to a D A A D A Next E tends to A C E tends to Okay, tell me uh, what are the things, what are the useless symbols here? 
ma'am ddr uh, capital d and small d or both are uh, capital d both are capital d okay ma'am e is the useless symbol e is the useless symbol any other symbols any other symbols ma any other answers can i expect from you any other answers okay uh, i'll tell you ma now ma'am me... sb huh sb yes, sb yes ma'am Oh, no alini can i expect any answer from you i'm not getting it ma okay i'll tell you ma see observe here s is deriving a a a okay from a i can go for sb or simply b c c kellani s is useless useful symbol because it is deriving something now a is useful or not anedi manam check chestam b c c c c nunchi nen em derive cheyachu a b b a b b do you have any more uh, non terminals which means any more variables a b a b b a b b a ikkada em terminals levu which means s is useful a is useful c is useful s is useful a is useful c is useful d anedi manaku ekkada manam use cheyaledu kabatti which is unreachable eppatiki manam ledu kabatti which is unreachable state which is useless symbol e is useless symbol then what about d is d is de is d deriving any any terminal suppose in place of a if i take d a a can we get anything from d can we uh, is it deriving anything no it is not deriving so d is also useless symbol d is useless symbol means d ekkada ekkada unda productions anni we eliminate cheyadam artham ayindamma so what is the first case is ipudu nen meeku two cases cheppan what is the first case why we have taken b as useless symbol because b is unreachable we cannot reach to the b via from s s is the starting symbol no so from the starting symbol we cannot reach to the b is it clear the first case nalini yes ma'am so b is not reachable we can not reachable and the meaning in the starting state nunchi manam reach avalem ikkada starting state means which is starting symbol starting symbol is s from s we cannot able to reach to b so unreachable states or unreachable variables are useless symbols so first thing clear kada next second thing ento chudandi if the if any variable is not able to derive class you cannot able to get the string ఎప్పుడు స్ట్రింగ్ కి మనం స్ట్రింగ్ ని రీచ్ అవ్వలేము బికాస్ ద పర్టికులర్ వేరియబుల్ ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు డిరైవ్ ఎనీ టర్మినల్ ఏదైనా టర్మినల్ అది డిరైవ్ చేయలేనప్పుడు విచ్ ఇస్ యూజ్లెస్ సి ఇస్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు డిరైవ్ ఎనీథింగ్ సో విచ్ ఇస్ యూజ్లెస్ సింపుల్ ఐ మే క్లియర్ విత్ దిస్ కేస్ వన్ ఈస్ అన్రీచబుల్ కేస్ టూ ఇస్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు డిరైవ్ ద టర్మినల్స్ క్లియర్ నలిని yes ma'am okay nee gurinchi malli ok sari cases cheptundi because you are unable to do it now if you observe this e is the first case both the cases ikkada vachhe e is the first case which is e ni endu consider chesamu ante because d is not going to derive anything it is not going to derive any terminal ipudu malli meeku oka doubt raavachu madam a kuda ma k me derive cheyatledu kada terminals ni డైరెక్ట్ గా అని చెప్పి అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఏ ఈస్ నాట్ డిరైవింగ్ బ్యాక్ 
from a you can reach to c from a you can reach to c but c is deriving terminal part okay so if you apply the transitive in a reflex transitive transitive rule program apply just say a is deriving this can get substitute just something a can able to derive but when you come to d d itself is having the same d but d is not going to derive any terminal so d is also useless symbol got it ma all of you i think yes. i'm clear with this shall i give one more example will you do it okay na s2 small a capital a a tends to small b capital a yes tends to small a capital a a tends to small b capital a or b b tends to d what are the use useless symbols here do you have any useless symbols or are uh, all are useful please tell me um a is useless symbol which one ma a a is useless symbol how can you say that from a i can derive b uh, a from a i can derive b no from b i can derive d so i am getting the string no how can you say that test is use use less symbol okay it can able to derive no yes ma'am hmm. is there any other no ma'am no all are useful symbols yes ma'am okay here in this example all are useful symbols up to this point only this is not i'm not talking about simplification i'm just telling you uh, the useful or useless symbols here all the uh, symbols are useful symbols only but in future we'll delete this a2 capital b production why we delete that why we remove that particular production we'll discuss in the tomorrow session i think i'm clear with this useless symbols useless symbols means here we are considering two cases the first case is whatever the variable which are not reachable from the starting symbol that is useless symbol and the variable which is not going to derive any terminals with the help of any other things illa adi direct ga derive cheppina indirect ga anna derive chesthe okay f it is not able to Uh, derive any terminal with the help of any other variable then it is useless symbol i think i'm clear with this am i yes ma'am okay if you understand this useless symbols then we'll move on to what is epsilon prediction what is unit prediction what is null predictions will we'll go to that part and we'll discuss tomorrow i'll tell you what is epsilon uh, null predictions what is unit predictions after knowing this how can we simplify the uh, uh, cfg we will have null predictions and useless symbols today we today we have seen only the useless symbols tomorrow we'll see the null predictions and unit predictions how can we remove that those things we'll see tomorrow when will be your unit is 3 ma do you aware of it see, from september 13th it is from september 13 till which means uh, simply will september 13 means only next week we will get september 20, 10th is on friday 11 saturday 12 and the next week okate anukuntadi um simply we are in simplification of contest free grammars next we are having only two topics normal forms and pumping lemma for contest free languages normal form normal forms will take one class pumping lemma will take normal forms so we are having two normal forms cnf and gnf cnf ko class hai gnf ko class iskunna pumping lemma we need one more class three classes simplification of contest free grammars again we need one or two more classes total we need five classes ee week lo inga naake em classes the rep ostadu kada tomorrow do i have class for you yes ma'am okay tomorrow
to Wednesday. Let me know. Can you get there? Kunda, yeah. Twelve o'clock. Kunda, yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, tomorrow I uh, tomorrow our class is study. Next week our class is study. Man, exam log. Man, I want to go to class is study. Okay. Five hours are highly enough to complete this, which is very easy. Man, contest free grammar clear. Got them. I think we could parse three. Got them. I think ambiguity. Got them. I think then we are uh, in simplification. Simplification by tomorrow or by next session. I will complete. After that, we'll move on to the normal forms. Are you following, ma? Is subject easy go on the tough go on the? Is it easy or difficult subject? This chapter is easy, ma'am, but previous chapter is tough. Previous chapter under regular expressions, ah. Huh? Let me unit on D F A N F A those. D F A N F A is. Da is it on the flat? Is it on the? Flat only, ma'am. Next time, we go to the other end. Nalini. Yes, ma'am. Ma you get this, ma'am. Then those same and this one, ma'am. Same and the easy one, tough one. मेटीरियल ट्राइ टू डोट फ्रम द मोडल Okay, whatever the notes given to you, it is simply according to your syllabus. Everything, every problem is available in the notes what I have forwarded to you. Okay, please go through that. Practice the problems. If you read the notes, then uh, if you read the notes also, you will understand what is the concept. There, uh, it is written very clearly. It is a handwritten notes which is written very clearly. Go through it. Okay. Still, if you have any doubt uh, regarding today's session, please raise your voice. We'll discuss. those who are having doubts they can stand remaining people can leave this issue 